In this problem, we're going to solve this absolute value inequality, and we'll write our answer in interval notation. And we're also going to do a sketch. So the first thing you want to do when solving anything with absolute value is to isolate the absolute value. So in this case, it's not too bad because we just have to get rid of this minus 2. So to get rid of it, we'll just add 2 to both sides. So plus 2, plus 2. This leaves us at the absolute value of x plus 3 all being divided by 2. And that's going to be greater than or equal to 6. Okay, now there's a rule uh, that we can use to get rid of uh, the absolute value. So here's how I memorize it. If you have the absolute value of A greater than or equal to, say, B, then A is greater than, so or B, and then less than or equal to the opposite. So I think of it as greater, so greater. So just remember, whenever it's greater than, you have the or. So you put the b, and then you flip it, and then you put a negative. Okay. So here, it's x plus 3 over 2. Greater than 6, so or, greater. <laughs> and then you flip the sign, and you put a negative. So you keep it, and then you flip it and put a negative. Keep it, flip it, put a negative. Just remember, greater, and that means that you keep it, flip it, put a negative. It's a little bit, a little bit tricky. Um, to solve for x here, we'll start by clearing the fractions. We can multiply both sides by 2. So these cancel. So if x plus 3 greater than or equal to 6 times 2 is 12. Then we can subtract 3, subtract 3. So x is greater than or equal to 9. Or, same thing here, multiply by 2, multiply by 2. So we have x plus 3 less than or equal to negative 12. And then subtract 3, subtract 3, x less than or equal to negative 15. So now we'll draw the picture, and then from the picture we can get the answer. So I'm going to draw a number line, like this. And then here's negative 15, and here's 9. And let's see, we want to shade everything in from the inequalities. So x greater than or equal to 9, so that's all of this stuff over here, right, bigger than 9. x less than or equal to negative 15, that's all of this stuff over here. So smaller than negative 15. Because we have equality on the, um, on the inequalities, we have the equality part, we use brackets. And the brackets always face the shading. So now we can combine our answers. It'll be negative infinity to negative 15. So you, go, you get it from the yellow, from the shading. Then you have to connect these sets. So we use the union symbol. And then we start back up at 9. So 9 to infinity. And that would be the final answer, and this is called interval notation. I hope this video has been helpful.